Step into the world of science fiction and conspiracy theories with the fascinating idea of reptilian humanoids. These creatures have been a staple of popular imagination for decades, captivating our minds with their mysterious powers and shape-shifting abilities. But what if these creatures were not just figments of our imagination, but actually controlled the world? According to this theory, powerful people like politicians and celebrities are actually shape-shifting reptilians who control the world for their own benefit. While this may sound like something out of a sci-fi novel, it has gained a following among those disillusioned with mainstream politics and media. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Don't Freak Out covers paranormal and unexplained stories. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell icons to be notified of new content. To my return viewers, welcome back. You know the drill, sit back, grab a snack, and get ready to delve into the world of the lizard people conspiracy theory. This theory is mostly linked to British conspiracy theorist David Icke, who alleges blood drinking, shape-shifting reptilian beings of extraterrestrial origin have controlled the world for centuries. But the controversy doesn't stop there. Ick has been accused of anti-Semitism due to the similarities between his theories and the centuries-old blood libel conspiracy theory, which alleges that Jews control the world and drink the blood of Christian children. Despite denying these accusations, Ick's theories continue to spark heated debate and controversy. A study showed that 4% of Americans believe in Ick's theory. That may not sound like a lot, but it's still 12 million people. And this idea has persisted for decades, with some people even suspecting that lizard people are in charge of secret societies like the Freemasons and the Illuminati. The lizard people theory has caused violence. The line between reality and conspiracy can often become blurred, and in some cases, it can have deadly consequences. Such was the case in January 2019 when a man in Seattle contacted 911 after stabbing his brother to death with a four-foot long sword. The reason? The defendant believed that his brother was a reptile. Bucky Wolf, a 26-year-old man, said he believed in QAnon. This conspiracy theory says there is a secret cabal of elites involved in child trafficking and a plot against President Trump. Wolf also tried to join the Proud Boys, a far-right extremist group. When combined, these ideas can create a dangerous mix of delusion and radicalization that can lead to violent acts that can have terrible results. Another recent act of violence has been attributed to the belief of lizard people. The peaceful morning of Christmas was shattered in Nashville, Tennessee, when an explosion caused damage to 41 structures and injured three people. The suspect, 63-year-old Anthony Warner, was initially believed to have been killed in the suicide explosion, but his identity was finally discovered. However, the reason behind his heinous act remains a mystery. Warner had sent out packages with letters that talked about different conspiracies, including the unsettling claim that lizard people were running the world. The people of Nashville are still reeling from the aftermath of the bombing, with many struggling to comprehend why someone would commit such an act of violence. The investigation into the incident is ongoing, but one thing is clear. Warner had a strange view of the world and acted in a way that left people confused and frightened. As the city comes to terms with the tragedy, the bravery and resilience of its people have been on full display. Despite the confusion and uncertainty, the people of Nashville have come together to support each other and begin the process of healing. Celebrities suspected of being lizard people. This is where it gets fascinating. According to many people, many celebrities are also among these shape-shifting reptilian creatures. Even well-known people like Justin Bieber and Katy Perry are known reptiles, along with Queen Elizabeth II, 
the Bush family, CEOs, and worldwide banking figures. People also think these reptiles are part of the Illuminati and can take on human forms by sending out sensations that make us believe they are humans. This theory is strange because it says that aliens who can change shape control normal people. Queen Elizabeth II's death has led to tributes, criticism, and even some theories about a hidden plot. One was that she was a lizard person. In a TikTok video posted to Facebook, the speaker says, the Queen and Prince Philip are not humans. The movie has subtitles that say Reptile Queen of England and the Queen is a reptile. In another post, it says, the Queen is dead, but this dragon went to the great-grandson. He should be working on the family tree. This refers to the false idea that the royal family is related to reptilians in Draco's constellation. The idea that Queen Elizabeth and other royal family members are reptiles has been around for a long time, but it's based on false premises. In the same way, people have called President Joe Biden the lizard. During a meeting with then-President Donald Trump in 2021, a snake was supposedly seen crawling out of his jacket. In reality, Biden carries a rosary instead of a snake in memory of his late son Bo. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, answered a strange question from a user during a Q&A session. The question was about rumors that he is a shape-shifting lizard person. The 38-year-old billionaire called the question very silly and quickly moved on to more serious topics like Facebook's artificial intelligence technology. It's not often that a famous person is asked to deny being related to a scaly, reptilian species. But that's exactly what happened to former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld in 2011 when comedian Louis C.K. said he was a flesh-eating lizard alien. And Rumsfeld isn't the only one who has been put on blast about being a lizard. In fact, John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, had to deal with similar accusations when an Auckland resident made an Official Information Act request. The world really is strange and fascinating. In 2013, a video on YouTube showed what might have been a reptile bodyguard near President Obama. The Wire magazine couldn't resist asking the National Security Council about it, and spokeswoman Caitlin Hayden gave a funny answer. Even though she couldn't confirm the claims, she joked that the sequester would probably affect any program that used robots or aliens to protect the president. It's not often that government officials are funny, especially when it comes to reptile bodyguards. In another instance, English media personality and businesswoman Gemma Collins surprised her audience when she said she believed in the long-running conspiracy theory that lizard people live among us. In a podcast, she dove into the murky world of internet conspiracies and admitted that she found the idea of shapeshifters living among us fascinating. She added her own twist to the story by saying that the lizard people may have stayed hidden for so long because they used a secret network of underground tunnels that Queen Elizabeth was also said to have used to move around without being seen. While some may find this belief a little weird, Gemma Collins' openness and willingness to explore unconventional theories add an intriguing dimension to her already fascinating persona. So the next time you see a celebrity or politician on TV, remember that they might not be humans after all. It's easy to dismiss these ideas as laughable or ridiculous, but the fact remains that they have a real impact on our society. They can lead to mistrust, paranoia, and even dangerous behaviors. And let's not forget that these ideas can be used to justify discrimination and hatred towards certain groups of people. So let's approach these theories with a healthy dose of skepticism and critical thinking. We should question where these ideas come from and what evidence there is to support them. And let's focus on building a society that values facts, reason, and compassion over fear and mistrust. Because at the end of the day, 
even if aliens or lizard people do exist, we're all human beings sharing this planet together. Let's work towards a better future for all of us, no matter where we come from or what we believe. So, guys, what do you think of this kind of community? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And remember to keep an eye out for anything strange because you never know if there are lizard people among us. We'll see you in the next video.